Sorry it's been such a long time since a video or a uh, update on the power supply project, but you can see I've moved to a new version from the uh, green one which is on the bottom of the stack there. Uh, this one, it has several major changes besides the smaller size obviously. If you check my blog, go into more detail about it, but basically I've changed the display to a uh, OLED display. I've, I'm using an X Mega now, um, and I've switched a lot of the uh, components to surface mount, so it doesn't take up as much room. Um, I've also put the rotary encoder, encoders on board, which go right here and here. Um, what else have I changed? Let's see. I have gotten rid of the buttons, um, and since I'm using an X Mega now, I don't need a uh, I.O. expander. So this is the blank circuit board. Got a whole bunch of them right there. Order them from IT Studio. Um, and then this right here is a populated version. This OLED module is from Adafruit. It is a 128 by 64 uh, version. I can see I've got it mounted on here with some standoffs. Um, I've got the rotary encoders here. I've got nice detents and they click they've got a button built in. Um, all the resistors right here, if we can focus on those. There we go, those are all 0.1% resistors now, so I won't have to fiddle with any, I'll have to fiddle with less tweaking in the software. Um, all the resistors on here are actually 0.1%. Uh, they don't need to be, like these ones down here, these, these are only for telling us the input voltage, which doesn't matter that much. Uh, two big filter caps for the output. Uh, so we have the input here and the output up here. Probably shouldn't have put the input right here, but that's where it ended up. Because that's where I had room. Uh, got it hooked up right here so I can turn it on. And that's all it does right now is display that. I don't know if we can focus on that. I guess we can't focus on that display, but it's it's really very crisp um, great contrast it says QWERTY BOY DESIGN DIGITAL POWER SUPPLY um, so far I have the display working obviously I had to modify the default Adafruit library so it uses hardware SPI now and it's it's extremely fast um, I've also started getting the, the DAC and the ADC working, but I'm having a little bit of trouble with that. The, the SPI port on the X Mega is kind of it's it's not working for some reason very well. So we gotta get that working. The encoders working. I tried getting those working. I was having issues with that as well. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but I suppose if I keep trying it, I'll eventually get it. So there's a quick update on the power supply. There's there's nothing on the back except for solder joints but so there we go there's a uh, update on what I've been up to